Praise the Lord. I see you are happy already. Because you know, God is going to deliver and deposit something great, marvelous, wonderful in your life in Jesus' name. You will have a testimony. <laughs> Where are you? You will have a testimony. You will not go back without that deposit in your life. Testimony in Jesus' name. Father, we well, thank you and bless your name. Great God, good God, merciful God, blessing all his people. I pray all your people here tonight, all your people online, blessings upon everyone in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself. Show who you are. Feel our hearts with your love and your blessing. I pray there will be no limitation here tonight. Everyone, everyone, everyone will receive abundance from you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. Yes, bless you already. You can see down tonight. We come to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved. By grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. That word saved in the original means actually you are saved. You are rescued, you are delivered, you are set free, you are healed. The same word in the original is actually used for being saved, being forgiven, being set free, and being healed and delivered. So, whatever blessing we need by grace, are you saved through faith? Look at that word grace. That grace means God's redemption at Christ's expense. That is, it's like you need a particular commodity. You don't have the money. It's too high for you. And somebody else goes to pay for that thing at his expense. You have that commodity. Grace is God's riches. God's redemption and God's response at Christ's expense. He's paid it all and what he paid for on your behalf you come to collect tonight. <laughs> Look at your amen. amen. Salvation he paid for that. Healing he paid for that. Deliverance he paid for that and all I'm telling you tonight come collect your own by grace are you saved through faith that what faith look at this forsaking all i trust him and once you forsake all your own endeavor your own trial your own ability your own strength your own qualification forsake all and your sin of course Forsaking all, I trust him. And once grace and faith come together in your life, it will give birth to a miracle. It will give birth to salvation. Always, always, always. Let me remind you, grace and faith are never barren. Grace and faith. Anywhere you find grace joined together with faith, they are never barren and in your heart today. Grace will flow in. Amen. Amen. And faith will be exercised and the grace and the faith coming together in your heart, in your life will not be barren. I see the grace and the faith producing salvation in your life tonight. 
healing in your life tonight deliverance in your life tonight blessings in your life tonight and we're talking about grace from three perspectives number one grace number two great grace number three growing grace the topic tonight is the manifold possibilities of grace great grace and uh, growing uh, grace look at acts chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 33 there it says very clearly it says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus look at this look at this and great grace was upon them all even when you have the beginning the grace it brings manifold blessings now when we have greater grace greater blessings tonight greater joy tonight greater redemption tonight in your life in jesus name isn't that wonderful we have grace isn't that wonderful we have great grace look at this number three is growing grace what you didn't have yesterday you will have today what you didn't have since you became a believer you were saved by grace but now i've been asking for this i've been asking for that all those things you have fasted about all those things you have prayed about all those things you are looking for now growing grace will deposit it in your life look at this in second peter chapter 3 verse 18 but grow in grace you see that there are people that think that grace is always at the low level it's always at the minimal and the grace i received in 1964 when i became born again and the grace of god took my sins away and brought joy the joy of salvation to me some people think that same grace remains and abide just like that but now since that time greater grace since that time growing grace if i have the, you know time we don't have the time tonight i'll be talking on glowing grace glowing grace that glows in your life that brings so much light that you know that this kind of grace is increasing and increasing and increasing all the same your blessings will increase tonight we're talking on the manifold possibilities of grace great grace growing grace look at number one number one we're talking about the marvelous provision of god's grace look at number two number three the miraculous power in great grace number three now is the manifold possibilities through growing grace come to number one number one remember everything that is said tonight is for you in particular remember every blessing that we pray for tonight is for you in particular remember all the promises of god yeah and amen for you tonight for me tonight look at number one then number one the marvelous provision of god's grace it tells us in ephesians chapter 2 Look at verse 5, Ephesians chapter 2, reading from verse 5. Even when we were dead in sins, as he quickened us, made us alive, woken us up together with Christ, by grace are ye saved. Give me a good amen. amen. By trying, no by struggling no by rolling on the ground no by slapping myself if i do that again my mouth i will slap you and so i forgot myself and i slap myself self punishment does that save no by resolution are you saved by resolution i will i will not i must i must not 
I don't want to catch myself doing that again. Resolution. By resolution, are we saved? Ah, where are you? I will say by resolution, by water, are you saved? Tell me. There's only one name. That name is the name of Jesus. Now, whosoever, that's you. Say, that's me. Whosoever shall call on the name of Jesus Christ because he paid the price for you. Because he finished everything. He paid it all. That's why it says, by grace. And ye say, look at verse 6. In verse 6 there, he tells us, and he has raised us up. When you are saved, you're no more in the valley. You're no more on the ground. You're no more in impotence and powerlessness. He has raised us up. I must make that personal. He has raised me up. He has raised me up. He raised you up from condemnation. No more condemnation. He raised you up from powerlessness. No more impotence. He raised you up from that age-long disease that paralyzed you and you could not act in the right direction. Now, he has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If you don't say amen, I will not explain that to you. And now he has made us to sit together in heavenly places. The only way I can explain is that, you know, you have enemies here. You have, uh, you know, those uh, great tyrants here. Oh, I mean, here on earth, here on ground. And anywhere you go, they're looking for me. They're looking for me. They're looking for me. And you are afraid. Your sin running after you. Suffering running after you. Sickness running after you. Satan running after you. You go here, go there, they come. You say, what am I going to do? An idea came to you. And you went to the passport office and you got passport. And then you go to the embassy, you got visa. And now it's time for you. All these enemies, they don't have passport. All these uh, tyrants, they don't have passport. You have something your enemies don't have. And so you enter into the aeroplane and you search down. And the pilot looks at you and he comes to sit by your side and says, What's your name? You say, This is my name. Is this your first time of flying? You say, you say, Yes, this is the first time I'm flying. And he sits with you there and he tells you, We'll go through this, go through this. We'll fly over your mountain. We'll fly over your sea. Jesus Christ is our pilot. He has raised us up from all the condemnation and from all the suffering and the things that were chasing us here, here and there. We now we have taken up and we are raised up and we sit with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Our the tyrant who said. They will never let us go. They take stone and they throw. They waste their time. Their stone will not reach your aeroplane. Because you see what Christ has done. He took us away from the condemnation. He took us away from all the suffering. And now you are seated. That's if you give your life to Christ. That's if you allow him to look at your heart, cleanse your heart, convert your soul, and now you're seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And I come to announce to you, any stone 
that a witch, a wizard throws, will never get to the heavenly places. Any suffering is being with a great grandfather, and you know, everything has been flowing in the family. When they get to this age, they pack up and they die. But now, you have escaped. Because you are now seated in heavenly places where Christ Jesus. Tell the person there, I will not die prematurely. Tell them, tell them, their stone will never get to me. The stone will never get you. Look at verse 8. In verse 8, it says very clearly now, it says, For by grace, stop trying by yourself. Stop lying on the ground and rolling on the ground. Stop all that self-punishment. And I say, my friend, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get saved. My sins are many. And so I starve myself. I punish myself. Well, two people cannot bear the same punishment. Christ went to the cross and he suffered for you. And he bore the punishment of your sin. And he said, it is finished. Somebody shout it like that. Your problems finished. Punishment finished. Eternal kind of presence and the lake of fire, not me, not for me anymore, finished. Now, when Christ has borne the punishment, and then you come with your weak shoulder, your weak back, backbone, and I say, what are you coming for? I can tell from the look of your face, I'm coming for punishment. I want God to punish me now. No, God, will, you cannot command God. God has already punished Christ for you. He took your place. Where are you? He took your place. And now we have grace. God's redemption at Christ's expense. For by grace are you saved. By grace are you healed. By grace are you delivered through faith. Forsaking all I trust him. And then he says, and that not of yourself. Not of what you do, not of the agony you go through, what not of the sacrifice you try to offer. That not of yourselves, it is, tell me, the gift of God. Amen. It is the gift of God. You know, when we were growing up, Daddy, during Christmas time, will give us gifts. My be a dress, my be whatever, and we wore that, and it was nice. Why? Because we're good boys, good girls? No, because it was Christmas time. And our parents were trying to remember the gift God gave to the world. And because of that gift, since God is God the Father, a father, a parent, are trying to copy the Father in heaven. And so they bought this, not because you've been good, not because you uh, did every assignment well, not because you are just nice, nice, nice. Gift. How much do you pay for a gift? Tell me. How much do you pay for a gift? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to the cross I cling. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Could my tears forever flow? Could my zeal no respite? No. All these for sin cannot atone. Thou and thou, thou and thou alone must save. You are saved today. Look at 1 Timothy chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 13. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13. Who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious 
Look at that. A man like this is being on record, even on earth here. If it goes to a Christian company, it's being a blasphemer, it's being a persecutor, it's being injurious. Even that company will not give him a job. This one is too bad. We cannot have this. Even if he goes to some civilized people and some nice, nice people, he comes and they check the records. Blasphemer, persecutor, injurious. He will go everywhere and he'll remain empty handed. But God is different. I said God is different. Whatever you have been and you are coming, and you, you know what you have done, you know the life you have lived, and you know how dangerous you have been, and yet it said, with all that, I obtained mercy. Are you there? I obtained mercy. I. I. Obtained. Now, uh, there's another word. There's obtain. There is attain. When you attain something, you work, you studied, you sweated, you, you labored. And now, we say, okay, you attain this. But this one, you can never attain this one. You can try, you can run, you can climb, but you can obtain. You didn't understand. You can obtain. Stretch out your hand and obtain. That's all we do. That's all we do. We don't have to beat ourselves and cry our hearts out and roll on the ground. We obtain. Welcome. You obtain tonight in Jesus' name. I obtain mercy. Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. Look at verse 15. In verse 15, it says, This is a faithful saying, worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. The chief the highest, the most terrible, the most defiled of all men, almost in every generation, he obtained mercy and grace. Your own time has come. Yeah. Titus chapter 2, reading from verse 11, it says, For the grace of God, the grace of God that bringeth salvation, the grace of God that bringeth salvation. You know, sometimes you want to go and visit a neighbor, a friend, and you say, I will not go empty-handed. And you think about, what are they going to need? What should they be asking for? And then you pick this and pick this and pick that. And when you appear, the children, they're ready, dancing and rejoicing because they know every time he comes, he always brings a present to us. That's like the grace of God. When the grace of God comes and he appears, it brings something. It's bringing salvation to you tonight. Say, it's bringing salvation to me tonight. Uh, look at this now. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to has appeared to has appeared to all men. All men from the village. All men from the city. All men illiterate. All men educated. All men high. All men low. That includes you. Because if I see zero and then I go on 100, between zero and 100, your age is somewhere inside there. And when it says all men, from the least to the highest, you are inside somewhere there. Grace for you today. Salvation for you today. And forgiveness, freedom 
for you today in Jesus name number two now number two we're looking at the miraculous power in greater grace there is grace there's grace we get saved there's grace we have forgiveness there's grace we have the joy the joy of heaven inside us now we come to number two and this number two is great grace the marvelous power there look at uh, acts chapter 4 reading from verse 30 acts chapter 4 verse 30 by stretching forth thine hand to heal to heal the Lord is stretching forth his son tonight he'll heal you there deliver you there set you free there maybe you are coming for the first time you came at the right time healing was prepared for you by the Lord before you came and he's going to give you tonight in Jesus and by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders what's a sign a signboard you have that signboard there and it um, you know writes what the signboard is all about and then they put an arrow the sign always leads you to where you have the solution are you looking for a pharmacy yes which one the one that will kill this kill this and kill that look at that sign but there that sign points to that place and as you follow that sign you get there tonight you'll get there yeah. are you looking for healing yes look at that sign that sign points to the healer you have healing tonight yeah. are you looking for deliverance yes look at that sign it points the direction to the great mighty deliverer signs and wonders in your life tonight in jesus name yeah. signs and wonders all the other signs you might read in town you don't wonder at them because they are natural but you not come to this sign the sign that is supernatural and you know the sickness does not go little by little by little at the mention of the name of jesus fear is gone you need to understand immediately it's gone and then you wonder wonder signs the supernatural are things we wonder at this swelling before it's gone it's gone and you wonder I had this blindness before. I thought little by little by little, my eyes will open. No, this one is supernatural sign. And when your eyes open and you see everyone around, you wonder. The sign that makes you to wonder. Signs and wonders here tonight. And it is by the name of of the holy child jesus look at verse 33 in verse 33 it tells us and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord look at this of the lord jesus and great grace great grace great grace don't leave me alone say it with me great grace Great grace was upon them all. Am I included? Are you included? Great grace. Great grace upon you all. Grace takes away our sin. Great grace comes with great power. It takes away all our sicknesses. All your sicknesses. 
Look at Acts chapter 5. And we're looking at verse 12. Acts chapter 5, reading from verse 12. Here it says, And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought. Many signs and wonders wrought. Apostles. I used to think apostles are those special, special people. It's because it's written in English, in the original language, anyone sent. When somebody is sent to go and give something, that one is an apostle. The apostle, that in the original language, is that you're giving something, go and give so and so. And now, I am given the gift of healing, but it's not for me. It says, I should go and give so and so, sitting down there in worry delta state. And so, I carry, I carry that healing, I carry that gift, not because I am having that healing myself. It was given that I should come and deliver it to you. You have brain problem, and I was given. That power of deliverance is not for me. And I shouldn't say, God already has selected you. I have no chance. I have no liberty to change the choice. He has chosen you. Yeah. And he says, it's to you as you come and deliver the deliverance. That's the apostles. And when you are there and you wait, and I'm coming to you. I said, I'm coming to you. And not only I'm coming, I am getting to you. Yeah. And I say, and this is not me, your Lord who loves you, who does not want you to suffer, he said, I should deliver this to you. Yeah. You say, praise the Lord. And if the Lord you praise, you don't praise me because I'm just the saint one, saint one, saint one. Tonight, I am saint to you. And heaven says, He has seen your cry. He has seen your pain. He has seen all that you went on that you have been going through. And the Lord says, Tonight is the night of your relief. The night of your freedom. The night of your healing. And then I send it forth to you. He sent his word and healed them. You are healed tonight. You are delivered tonight. Because it says they were all but one accord in Solomon's porch. Look at verse 15. In verse 15 is so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets. You know, like in the open we are here now. And then, and in couches, and even though they were on their beds, sick bed, couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Shadow, shadow. You understand? Peter. Did not have the time at this time now to talk to everybody. And so all those sick people, they were there. And he walked past them. And a shadow came on them. And a shadow delivered the healing. Yeah. You are blessed. Yeah. But now it's not shadow. Now it's me. Can you see me here? Yeah. And I'm pointing your direction. Yeah. I identify you there tonight. Yeah. You are healed. Yeah. Look at verse 16. In verse 16, it says, There came also a multitude out of the cities, round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks 
and were told them which were vexed with unclean tormenting spirit and they were healed everyone 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 uh, look at that person there on that right hand side of Mount ledge. Everyone, you are healed. Yeah. Look at him in the middle there at the back. Everyone, you are healed. Look at Mama, our mother there. That she says, I'm oh, breathing, I'm breathing. My child, am I going to die? No, madam, you came here. You will not die. Yeah. Everyone, everyone is getting to you. Is getting to you. Wheelchairs will be empty tonight. Crutches will be thrown away tonight. Blind eyes will open tonight. The one appendicitis that is healed tonight. I said it is healed tonight. Because it says they were healed how many people the lord is serving the meal of healing deliverance everywhere nobody will remain hungry and having pain everyone 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 believers believers church people you've been a believer for a long time and then every time we have crusade you even try you bring other people but you say i'm a believer i'm a believer and you are suffering as god is healing the newcomers he will heal the old timers i hear somebody saying i came i became born again 19 19 19 and then 40 years now i've been here but I've been sick, I have cancer, you don't have cancer. I have ulcer, you don't have ulcer. When you say I have, it's like I have a child, I have a daughter. It's yours and you hold on to that. No, you don't have cancer. Cancer means its way. When he came to your body, and you open the door and accept it and you see i have i don't have i have blindness i don't have blindness i have deafness i don't have deafness because they were healed everyone to you tonight for you tonight the mighty name of jesus with great grace will make everything vanish from you yeah. i come to point number three now point number three it's the manifold possibilities through growing grace growing grace growing grace the grace available tonight will grow in your life yeah. you know if you have water in a glass and you have thirst but the water is at the low level if you drink it you say i'm not satisfied okay we'll increase the water greater volume we increase it you drink i still need more okay now we'll fill the cup for you i said we'll fill the glass for you growing 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 and when that phase when that grace grows to that level, we we'll say, drink now, you will drink to your satisfaction. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I'm reading here from verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Why do you always miss your amen? I was a sinner. I got salvation by grace. By the grace of God, I am what I am. I am saved. But 
there was weakness. And then, by the grace of God, I am what I am. I'm not only saved, I am strong. And then, as you move on, Paul the apostle moved on. And there was, he said, we had a sentence of death. Fears within and fightings without. And grace came again. All the fighting, all the fears, everything cleared away. And he says, by the grace of God, I am what I am. I am free. You are free. And then he went on. He had an assignment. Very great. And this assignment, his shoulders were not strong enough to bear the weight and the load of the assignment. And he went for grace again. Always come for grace. There's always grace in whatever challenge you have. And tonight, you'll be what you ought to be. And the Lord said, my grace is sufficient for you. And now he could run, he could jump, he could climb. New strength had come. By the grace of God, I am what I am. By the grace of God, I am well. See, I am well. By the grace of God, I am sound. By the grace of God, I am hale and hearty. By the grace of God, I am happy. By the grace of God, all the chains in my life, all the chains are gone. By the grace of God, I am what I am. Everything you dreamt to be, everything you desire to be, everything you were looking for and you were dreaming. I want to be this, I want to be this, I want to be well, I want to be safe, I want to have joy, I want to have victory, I want to be triumphant. Praise the Lord, here we are today, growing grace, by the grace of God, you are what you are. Nobody is missing anything tonight. There's grace, there's great grace, that growing grace. And everything you need at the throne of mercy. You come tonight and grace will solve the problem of guilt and condemnation. Great grace will solve the problem of sickness and infirmity. And growing grace will solve the problem of I could not attain, I could not obtain, I could not be this, I could not be that. Now, you are complete as a man. You are complete as a woman. Your body, your soul, your spirit will receive now all the blessings that Christ has provided on the cross of Calvary for you. Heads bowed, heads bowed. And eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You want to enjoy this grace that brings salvation, that brings forgiveness, that brings the erasing, blotting out of all the sins you ever committed, that no sin is remembered against you anymore, no sin on your records anymore grace is available that grace that brings salvation is now appearing to all so you raise up your hand i want peace of mind i want forgiveness of my sin i want salvation i want total freedom and the chains of sin like bad habit that bound me i want to be free wherever you are god bless you there god bless you there you raise up your hand you say lord i'm here grace make christ to pay it all my penalty taken away my punishment taken away the harassment of the devil because of my past life taken away raise up your hand raise up your hand if you are raising up your hand you stand up. Stand up, stand up for the grace of Christ. 
that comes to you. This is your chance. This is your chance. You don't have to struggle anymore, punish yourself anymore. Grace brings forgiveness, brings freedom, brings peace of mind, cancels judgment against your life. God bless you there. Online, you want this grace that brings salvation? Deposit salvation in your heart. Those on the radio, those on the television. You want this grace to bring salvation, total salvation over there in the cage. The Lord bless you there. We're going to pray now. And once we we'll pray to Jesus for your forgiveness, freedom, salvation, he will not say no to you. Say amen. amen. He will forgive you. He will save your soul. Heaven is actually now opening the book of life. And they are writing, God is writing your name. God is writing your name. Ready? Ready? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for Christ, a Savior, a Redeemer, who paid the whole price for our salvation. We turn away from sin. We repent of all those evil things we used to do. And we calm, clear, clean, confessing before you. I pray, Lord, bring salvation, bring forgiveness, bring freedom to everyone now in Jesus' name. Wipe away all the remembrance of their sin. Bring freedom, peace, eternal life unto them. Confirm it, O Lord. Give them the joy of salvation, the freedom, the victory, the triumph in salvation. Do it for everyone now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Join me and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations, you are saved. You are forgiven. New life, eternal life has now come to you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there and they will attend to you. I call on a minister tonight to help us during this time before I come back to pray for your healing. Your healing is ready. Your healing is waiting. And you are going to be healed, set free, delivered tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. Counseling period now. Don't go back home because everyone will be healed tonight. Congratulations, congratulations. You have made a decision tonight to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Please do well to give your details to the counselor around you. Your full name and your telephone number, please. Your correct name and your telephone number. The name by which you are called in the place you live. Give your correct name. Now you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Every word you speak now, what you say, you will say it truthfully. Give the counselors your correct name and your correct address. If the place you live does not have an address, just give a description. Probably you live behind a particular place and maybe a popular place. You can give that description that behind this place or by the side of this place or around this area, mention my name there. Just give it. And let every detail you give be correct. Please, your telephone number, 11 digits, give it correctly. 
a man, a woman who had accepted Christ, will give correct information. Don't just give anything. Just give something, and then they come, look for you, they can't find you. That should not be your habit. You have openly declared that you have accepted Christ. It's a decision you have made. Based on the word of God you have heard tonight from the mouth of the man of God, grace had been spelled out to you, grace that brought salvation to you, wholeheartedly you have accepted. So, cancel us, please. Let's uh, get close to them and do this important work. Let's do it correctly, and let's be patient with them, find out. If there are people who don't understand English, please look for somebody who understands their language among the counselors. There should be somebody. Please call them to attend to those people, especially uh, the men and women who don't understand English. Do that with them. Let's take their correct particulars. Thank you very much. To the far back, let's do that. Spread yourselves to the right, to the left, the middle, to the far back, those who are sitting on the veranda. Please reach them and get their details. We need this information to help them. Please cooperate with the counselors so as to help you. The decision you have made tonight is very important. Heaven has accepted, heaven has affirmed. Do everything within your reach to help the counselors to also help you. God bless you as you do that with all your heart. If you are watching online and you just gave your life to Christ through the message of the man of God tonight, please, there is a link on your player there, click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your walk with Christ. Do that for your own good to get more, to receive more, and to be blessed by the Lord. The decision you have made does not just end where you are seated or where you are sitting. It's a decision that when you go through all life time and God will help you do it faithfully. If you are listening via the radio or television and you just gave your life to Christ, send your name please your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this telephone number I'm calling now, plus 234-915-444-9263. Let me call it over again. Plus 234 915-444-9263. There will be a special meeting, lunch hour with Jesus. For all those who gave their lives to Christ this night, those of you who have made this good decision, to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, 3 p.m., behind this classroom building, at the back, we'll be having the lunch hour with Jesus there. It's a meeting for you. 
It's a meeting that has been planned for you to sit with you and talk with you to explain more to you about following Christ and serving the Lord and having increased joy and peace and satisfaction and having good knowledge and what it means to follow the Lord. As you come, the Lord will bless you. Those of you decided on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and those of you doing it tonight, let's all meet there tomorrow, 3 p.m. As you come, the Lord will bless you. Furthermore, there will be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade that started Thursday and it will end on Tuesday. The banquet will be taking place on the 1st of September 2024. In all our churches globally, more details of this will be sent to you. Our pastor, the man of God, will be highly delighted to have you join this special banquet. I need to tell you, this banquet has been going on, and all the people who had attended are testified of the goodness of God upon their lives. Those of you here at this crusade, the banquet will be taking place 1st of October at the Deep Alive Bible Church headquarters, 11 stroke 12, Atie Arubi Street, off Deco Road. Deco Road is a popular road. Once you get to Deco Road, you enter from the Marine Junction here, or you are coming from the other end, Okumagba Avenue by Airport Junction, just come down straight. Ask anybody, you know, Deco Road is quite easy to trace. And Dipala Bible Church is right there off Deco Road at Tiarubi Street. It will hold at 3 p.m. on the 1st of September. If you just received your miracle tonight, as the servant of God will be praying, or you've received your miracle before now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you need to share your testimony with us via the WhatsApp number being displayed or testimony link on the screen. You can also record a video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp or Telegram. Thank you for doing this. It will help you as you cooperate to do all this for your good, your edification and comfort and the blessings of God upon your life. Cancel us, please. Let's ensure we are attending to the people if you finish with one person, please go to the second one. You are there and no counselor can reach you. Please just shoot up your hands. They'll come to you and beckon on the counselors. They will attend to you. That's the reason why you are here. And thank God for the decision you have taken. The message that the servant of God has preached has benefited you. Ensure that the counselors reach you. The decision you have made tonight, don't go away from this ground without being attended to by the counselor. God bless you as you do that. And please co cooperate with them. Counselors, let's do our best. That's why you are here. All that the Lord has given, let's ensure that we don't miss anyone. 
God bless you for your patience, your commitment, your love, and your sacrifice. Let's make sure we get to the back. You know, the field is quite a big place. Down, down to the back, towards the gate, the main gate. Let's make sure you cover all those areas. I believe there are people who are there. Please, if no counselor have reached you, just your hand like this up. And once you do that, they will locate you. And those of you who are waiting quietly there, you are asking the Lord, look upon me. Don't pass me by tonight. I'm waiting, Lord. The servant of God has declared it. Before he comes up to pray, you tell the Lord, I am here. What you have for me, I must receive it tonight. Bless me, Lord. Take this problem away. This mountain must go. This yoke must be broken. The declaration had come, keen to it. Confess it with your mouth. Like the blind man, Lord, I want to receive my sight. This pain must go. This problem must go. This mountain must go. I've heard your word. I believe your word. The problem is not for me. It must go. The pain is not for me, it must go. Everything that belongs to the devil, it must go. The declaration has been made. Just quietly pray while we're attending to. And counsel us, please, once you are true, wave your flag to me. Just wave your flag, so I'll see you. Thank you very much, brother. God bless you there. Thank you very much. That's a good one. To my left, and thank you very much. That's a good one. Can I sit far, far down? Extreme, the extreme right down. Can I see the flag? Extreme. I've seen you. Thank you very much. Middle here, I've seen you. Still close to the... Close to us yet down at the extreme. Can you raise the flag? Just wave it. Let's do that quickly. The man of God is waiting patiently. Thank you very much, brother. God bless you. Yes, I can see you there at the far back. Thank you very much. To the far back. If you are true, just wave your flag. Let's do that and attend to the converts tonight before the man of God comes up to make further declaration and final declaration for tonight. He has said it. Nobody's going back home with any problem. Believe that and hold on to it. Confess it and believe it. Tell the Lord, this is my request. Your servant has spoken. Lord, do to me according to this declaration. He had said it, that the Lord sent him to deliver it to you. To deliver it to us. No exception. Clear. Direct. What God had sent him to deliver. You will go back home with your own portion. Pray. Cancel us. If we are true, raise the flag again. Let me see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's rise up. The man of God is here. Rise up on your feet. Amen. 
they were healed, everyone. Are you going to get your healing right now? It is unto you according to your faith. No shadow of doubt. Christ makes it available for you. And he sent me to deliver it to you. You will accept. You will receive. You'll give a testimony. You raise up your hand. Lift up that hand. Right or left. And lay the other hand where you have the challenge. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Your healing is guaranteed. Up the hand, lay the other hand there. Pain, tumor, swelling, everything vanishing right now. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, yeah. we celebrate your love, we celebrate your compassion, we celebrate your mercy, and we pray in your love, compassion, and mercy, Lord, grant everyone the healing they need in jesus name yeah. bring tumor get out in jesus name yeah. madness get out in jesus name yeah. those demons that are tormenting your life i command you demon evil spirit tormenting spirit come out in jesus name yeah. I pray, Lord, for those who have impairment in their sight. Dim sight, glaucoma, cataract, blindness, the bandage of the devil. I remove that bandage of the devil from your eyes in Jesus' name. You will open your eyes, you will see. Dumb tongues, be loose in Jesus' name. Deaf ears open up in Jesus' name. Goiter swelling in the neck. Tumor fibroid in the tummy inside there. Ernia swelling there. And the elephant tears swelling like a balloon. Lord, I pray right now, touch them. Take the swelling away. Be free, be healed in Jesus' name. Also, no more. Cancer, die out. And all the internal bleeding, I pray right now, be healed in Jesus' name. That person was me experiencing the pain of cancer and it says at this stage now you will not die yeah. let life from heaven come inside you right now yeah. dry up the cancer yeah. be healed in jesus name yeah. and all those people that somebody rained curses on you and sent chap and sent this and that and now you don't have rest internally it's like you should remove your clothes and you know run about i silence that evil thing that curse the anointing that breaks the yoke breaks the yoke of that curse right now in jesus name and i wonder that is having the pain of a sickle cell let there be calmness in your body right now. Lord, make a change in the blood group of that person. Heal them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who are paralyzed, you are not paralyzed anymore. That wheelchair will be empty just now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Those who are crutches, I pray the Lord will take the crutches away from you. Arthritis, you are healed in Jesus' name. 
joint pains you are removed in jesus name broken bones you are mended in jesus name hearing voices voices from here and there one time tormenting your life all those strange voices i silence them now in jesus name healing for everyone deliverance for everyone miracle for everyone to the right you are healed to the left you are healed center at the back in the front praise the lord you are healed in jesus name over the radio over the television online everywhere now and they were healed everyone confirmation of healing of deliverance of miracle of signs and wonders in every life right now and the joy of the lord be your strength it is confirmed in jesus name we pray Amen.